<laughs> thing is flying. Uh, his car's in the way. Oh my god! <laughs> What is going on guys? A few weeks ago we took this go-kart that had been sitting in the woods for 10 years and we made it run and drive for a total of $28.25 including the purchase of the go-kart. And we saw a lot of your comments. You guys want to see more budget builds. That's what we're continuing today. We're going to show you guys the five or six main performance mods that you can do yourself for free to increase the performance of your go-kart engine. Now this uh, Road Boss has a Tecumseh six and a half on it. Yeah, and I've never messed with a Tecumseh, so this will be a learning experience for me and you. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but the mods that we're going to be doing to this Tecumseh today, they apply to Predator 212s, Honda clones, uh, big block 440s, 350s, 327s, everything. These are tricks that hot rodders have been doing since, since the combustion engine has been invented. We're talking uh, freeing up the air intake, uh, drilling out the carb jet, freer exhaust. Uh, More compression. Yes, shaving the head and maybe doing some porting and polishing as well. And now these are all things that we've done before on the channel a few times, but today we're gonna be doing a before and after. So we have the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, right? We're gonna do a lap before, make all our mods, do a lap after, and see how much time we've taken off. So without any further ado, uh, let's do our stock lap. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you marked? Get set. Go. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Come on. It's, oh, it's down on power. It's really slow. It's running like crap. It's running like crap. Uh, it might have a low oil cutoff sensor. doesn't like to bump. I forgot about that. Wow, a 5273. Remember last time it didn't like the bump. Dude. Carburetor? Yeah. Garbage? It's garbage. Um. First things first, the steering was awful. It was really tight, and uh, yeah, I mean, like you can't really make smooth motions with it, so that's gonna that's gonna hurt our time. I mean, the first thing, like the main thing that's hurting our time, was just the problems we were having with the engine, uh, probably trash in the carburetor. But I mean, steering needs to be done too. So, gonna hit it with some blaster. While we're trying to find out why the cart was running so badly. We're gonna show you guys the first free performance mod we already did. Now, this isn't necessarily recommended. Here is the air filter. The factory air box on a lot of these small engines can be really restrictive. So what Ike did was removed three quarters of the, uh, of the paper on this filter. So we have the foam right here. Um, and other than that, it's completely free flowing. If you're trying to have a super reliable, really long lasting engine, this free mod probably isn't for you because it requires kind of taking out half the filter. We still have this, uh, this filter here, but the paper filter is largely taken out. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch off the fuel line. Oh. Let's see what we got in there. Fuel. <laughs> no, that's good. Try to save as much as I can, which it's being, oh yeah. Got water in it. Well, I mean, that'll cause some problems. And that'll... look, there's some chunks in there oh, too. Yeah. Now this carburetor was brand new from gopowersports.com and it ran really well, but our problem was that uh, we didn't flush the fuel tank. So if you have like a really old engine, you're gonna wanna like thoroughly flush your fuel tank before you go putting a new carburetor on it. Cause you're just gonna put the same old junk back in your new carb and it's gonna run like crap. this to let out anything all 
Make another lap? Yeah, I mean like that 52 is not. Wasn't it 57? It was 52.73. Oh, okay. So 53. Yeah. Are you ready, bud? Yep. Yeah. Are you marked? Get set, go! Mud. Oh yeah, he went right through it. Oh, it looks better. It just doesn't like the bump. It sounded better though. It did sound better. But it's still doing it. It doesn't, remember the uh, Yerf Dog? Same engine, hit the bump with that, and it did the same thing. It's probably just the engine there. Could be. Well, you want to like do a drag race before and after then? We need some kind yeah. of metric. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off and move these cars and turn it into a drag race. All right, sounds good. And go. That throttle response, though. What did it do? 7.10, sir. That sounds slow. I think we can. Uh... Thanks, bud. While we were looking at how the governor works on this, uh, I think we realized that this thing doesn't have full throttle taking the air box off and I'm gonna look right down the throat of the carburetor and see if we get full throttle. Shut. No, we don't have full throttle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend a tab under here. This oh, thing? Yeah. There, just below it on the same attached piece, there's a tab hitting the base of the flange of the carburetor housing. You see it? I do. Okay. That is hitting the flange of the carburetor, only giving it like three quarters full throttle. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got that piece bent right, but now we're running into problem with uh the linkage isn't far enough. Well, no, we're there. We got we got full throttle, but I bet you when we crank it up, it's not gonna return to idle. There's a idle there. Oh, you know what? There's a thing here keeping us from going wide open. There's a couple of adjustment screws. This engine really does not... It doesn't want you to go fast. No. We want to go fast. Yep. Crank it up, bud. Maybe. Go hit the throttle. Oh, we got full throttle too. Let go. Gas it. Let go. Okay. Does so it return idle? Yeah. If this works, man, I'm gonna be impressed. Turned on it. Yeah. So we got a problem with the idle circuit or something. Let me let me try something else. All right. I don't, this, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but it's idling. Let's run it real quick. Yeah. Well, that's good. 
Should be a lot faster. Yeah. Do I now? Do I attempt a, a run around the yard or not? Mm -hmm. I don't know how the throttle is going to react. It might be like the second you start giving it throttle. I think like halfway down it starts giving it throttle. Okay. And it might be kind of a only full throttle. E something like that. Nice. <laughs> Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, hey, we got a little something. Stop. 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 Don't. Go. Did it let off? Yep. How? I don't know. It was six ninety nine. It's faster, but like. Why did it let off? There's no way it could have let off. <sighs> the governor is completely, again, huh? Can you fire me up again, please? Yeah, the governor is completely bypassed. Yeah, and yet it still felt like. He's running out of fuel. Are you ready? Go! Six ninety four, and it's installed. I mean, it, it acts just like a governor's kicking in. Yep. And it, it accelerates hard, and then it kind of uh, levels out. No spark knocking, like going lean or or surging. It's just a gets up to speed and Stay levels there. out. Yeah. Check the fuel flow. And for garbage. Yeah. I mean, what this needs is a 22 millimeter Makuni from Go Power Sports, but well, that's not a free mod. No, it's not free. We you could have more trash in there. Oh dude. God, dude. look at that! All right, let's just like take a minute and clean the fuel tank because that could be our problem too, or part of it. Sometimes you can govern a vehicle, go kart, whatever, by ignition. Let me see that. You're gonna handle the throttle. Yes. I'm going to be back here next to this engine that can blow up. We do not recommend this. Yeah. I hear it spitting back through the carburetor. I think it's got valve flow. So it's just... The valve springs are just that bad. It might be. There are a lot of things that could be happening, uh, preventing us from reaching a higher engine RPM. So I'm just kind of like, make a simple diagram of like all the things that could be basically like the life cycle of a four stroke engine and like all the components of that could be bottlenecking us right now. And as we go through each one, we're gonna cross it off the list and uh, try to narrow it down. We may not be able to figure out what exactly it is, but we're gonna be able to narrow it down. You look guilty, man. You should be proud. Check it out, guys. So we got a Predator 212 carburetor. We have machine bolts here. There are just one machine bolt there. And on the other side, holding the carburetor on, vice grips. You ready so, to fire it up? See if it fixed our problem? Are you wanting to uh, ride it? I mean, I'll ride it, yeah. Okay, just know where the uh, kill switch is. Okay. Do you feel safe? Not really. Good. It'll be all right. All right. We got a kill switch. Is going now. <laughs> it was a carburetor the whole time? Yeah, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yes. 
There we go. 689. Hey, that's faster. All right, I want to run this one. The full, the full circuit. We timed that? Yeah, we did. It was a 5273. Okay. All right, that's fine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mark, get set, go. Yes. Was it in the 30? Yes. 39. Guess again. 8. Guess again. 7. Guess again. 6. Guess again. 5. There we go. Dude. 3, 5, what? Thir I, I don't know. 35, 84. 6, 0. That's pretty quick. Yeah. You look like you were flying, dude. Yeah. Uh. I almost died a couple times. So we can get rid of this diagram because it's a carburetor. Dude, I swear, like whenever we have a problem, like nine, to, like I almost always blame the carburetor, but like in this case, we just assumed it was fine because it was newish. Well, it was newish, but it had been sitting around with fuel in it. Yeah. And it's had water in it. Yeah. And trash. Yeah. And we should have known better. That little crappy road boss <laughs> is the second fastest vehicle on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. That's hilarious. That's... I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's all tires. It's all, it all That's comes true. down to traction. That's Traction's true. the most important thing. Yes. So today did not end up like we originally thought it would. But I'm going to call it a victory because we got our problem fixed. Kind of. Kinda. We figured it out. Right. We figured we it out. We didn't fix it. We just figured we, we it out. We vice gripped it. We put a band-aid on it. We did not end up accomplishing our original goal today, which was to show you guys free performance mods you can make to your go-kart engine. I guess our mistake there was working with an engine that we that neither of us were really familiar with, uh, and we didn't know that it had uh, car rate of problems, obviously, because we just spent six hours trying to figure out what the heck was going on with it. It was working great, idle, and, uh, you know, full throttle, but uh, it wasn't letting us achieve uh, top end speed. Next time, we're going to be showing you guys the simple tweaks and modifications you can make to your go kart engine to drastically improve its performance. Didn't happen today since we were foiled by our Tecumseh engine, but it'll be fine. Uh, we'll do it next time. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameron's Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Visit our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, for their performance kit. If you don't feel like making performance mods yourself, they can hook you up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press the bell for notifications. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video today. Support the channel by picking up some of our merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Check out our shirts and stickers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.